Here he is. Sad boy, walking down his M4 comp, innit? I don't know if I'm sad, it's mixed emotion in it is at the minute. Am I doing the right thing or not? Before we get back into that, tell him what we're gonna have to do, son. Right, we're gonna have to go back first. So, come on. Up. So how far back are we going, bud? I gotta go back, son. I gotta go back 11th October, I gotta do it. It's 11th of October, 2021. We've arrived. Remarkable scenes happening as I'm thinking about selling the M4 competition. See, yeah, it is literally remarkable scenes. I've had my M4 competition for about seven months now. It's the best car I've ever had. It's a phenomenal car. And to be honest with you, it's very much a seller's market at the minute. Obviously, you can't get new cars at the minute. Used car prices are through the roof. I've had some insane offers on my car, and I'm actually thinking, should I sell it? What are we going to replace it with? Don't worry about what I'm going to replace it with, because at the end of the day, I've got different whips myself. I'm always driving everything else. I, I'm driving everyone else's car apart from my own. That car's literally just sat there aside from taking it from cruises. So I thought, you know what? Let's go through a process of if I want to sell it, let's see how hard it is to sell it. And you know, if it's a good offer, am I going to accept it? So here we go. This is where it gets interesting. So what would I say to you, right? If you're in a position to sell the car and you're actually going to make a fair few thousand pounds on it, would you do it? This is my dilemma at the minute. I'm going to join him for this dilemma, and I'm even going to take my hat off, so we're not both hat fish, isn't it? Hello and welcome, in the words of Mr. Lee. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Hello and welcome. Shout out to Mr. Lee, yeah. Shout out to Mr. Lee, indeed. So, here we are. It's the 11th of October, as you say. You're all thinking of selling your M4. You're not exactly going to say what you're going to be selling it for, but why... Is it why is it a buyer's a seller's market? Why it's are they offering so much more money? Well, it's just at the time at the minute, yeah, where used car prices are absolutely through the roof. I've recently learned this with my T6 Red Transporter that I recently yeah. sold. Literally last went week went up in value. Went up over five thousand pounds in a space of however many months, which yeah. is bonkers. So I thought, you know what? Over the current time I've had the M4, a lot of people have messaged me, do you want to sell it? Because the spec on that car is absolutely insane, yeah. Every available option, no handles. <laughs> so it's an absolutely insane spec. So it's got me thinking, do you know what? actually what would it be worth now i'm not going to say some figures i'm not going to say prices because you know that's boss's business Don't everything's so changeable as well every th every week that passes it'll be a different amount yeah so there's no exactly point. so you know i just thought this has happened out of nowhere as well literally i had no plans to do this but I thought, you know what i thought let's do it so you know i've sat there put some prices on we buy any car put some prices on other places and also i wanted to see the car well the matt watson sort of way of doing it sell your car here sort of thing Click up the banner up there, which I never ever see because I watch it on a TV, innit? But <laughs> let's find out. Yes. Right, so there we go. So Carwell takes you through to a separate company that is called Whizzle. So there we go. Nice little funky name. You set yourself up on a dashboard, which is, you know, you put your mileage in on it. You ask you stupid questions. What option extras has it got? Only thing I could say I was, got all the option extras, but no <laughs> handles. Only thing I could say was it's got leather seats and sat nav, right? So they set you up with a dashboard. Then they sort of give you an estimated market price of what they reckon the car would be worth in various conditions. And then you can set your own price on. You have to load photos of the car as well. So I put some balling things on there as well. Nice. So I've got a dashboard here as well now. And I've had offers coming through. Now, to be honest with you, the whistle estimate that went up was a thought was a few thousand pounds under what it is and under what we buy any car are offering, etc. Yeah. So anyway, so I put a price in close to what we buy uh, we buy any car are saying, and they're telling me, warning, high expected price. But I'm like, no, 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 no. So you've got to show off your car, literally, more than one key, sunroof. I haven't got a sunroof, it's got a carbon roof in it. You know what I'm saying? Eleven interior sat in navigation. Stay put, why else should a dealer buy your car? I simply just said, it's a huge spec, every option extra, apart from ceramic brakes. Rare car indeed, which it is. Uh, and uploaded a couple of pictures on there, not necessarily the one outside that casino the other night, on that Friday night, which was pretty good. Then it's your details, which you're going to blur most of that out anyway, to be fair. Have you put in that it's got a carbon roof? Do they know it's got a carbon well, it's roof? it's an M4 competition. But, um, so there we go. So the biggest offer I, I have is from a company called Simply Select which is now, it, it brings you as well, it sends you a notification saying offer has come through on your car and it's there for three days, I think. So I've got two days, one hour's left on it and it's five days left on my advert. So uh, to be honest with you, it is an actual pretty easy way of selling your vehicle on there. It's quite, you know, how the times have moved. How the times have moved. But um, so yeah, so it's, it's, it's a situation at the minute. I'm thinking, should I sell it? Shouldn't I sell it? I absolutely, I love that car. I adore that car. At the end of the day, I'm a businessman. If there's money to be made, Let's make a bit of money. If I want to buy an M4 down the line, I'll buy another one down the line. So basically, in the time you've owned your M4, it hasn't been completely free. 
No. Because it takes a lot of petrol. Hell of a lot of petrol. And a lot of insurance. Yeah. And a lot of tax. Yeah. So, like, I don't so know. It's, this isn't exotic car hacks. We're not owning an M4 for free. <laughs> yeah, I, I will say, right, I don't do a hell of a lot of miles per month, right? But I can tell you, I spend five to six hundred pound a month on petrol on that car, which which is all right for me. I, I can afford to do it. I do. I can afford the petrol. He doesn't do a lot of miles in a month, but once he does, his foot is to the floor, and the needle is all the way around the clock. <laughs> isn't it? Exactly. But at the end of the day, it's, it's you know it's, it's a daily driver. I knew it was going what the cost were going to be of driving it, and it's been a whole fun experience. But I'm thinking, let's do it. So this got me thinking, right? I spoke spoke to the BMW garage where the car's come from. And, um, you know, said a little bit of a detail. Got me in touch with this girl called Molly. Seems a really, really nice girl. Sat in Molly. Sat in Molly. More than helpful. And um, she was chasing back and forth. And she was like, you know, can you tell me a bit about the spec on the car? I was like, literally, it's huge. So she ran the red, uh, the reg on it. And she was like, oh, it's got four pages. She goes, you never have four pages. Because that car's got absolutely everything. I was like, yeah. So then I knew it's there. You know, then things, they want that car. So I said some, look, you know, we buy any car offering this amount. Um, which I, you know, I said slightly... You know, 500 quid more anyway. And they were like, we'll beat that. And, and that's where I at. So I was thinking, should I sell it? Shouldn't I sell it? What are you saying? It's a dilemma, isn't it? You've got an option there. And like you say, there's reasons. There's The price has gone up. The value's gone up. And, you know, it's cost you a little bit of money to own this car. But it would cost you a lot more as and when the price depreciates more. Exactly. So all this COVID stuff, I'm winning from it. Do you know, right, my takeaway from this is... I think he's finally accepted that he needs grab handles in a car and he just wants a car with grab handles. Do you know what? On that note, if this is going to happen, seatbelt on, I'm hitting 80, 80 man an hour and we are going, son. Let's go back to the future. Let's go back to the future. And here we are, back in the present time. It is, though, it is. It's a mad thing as well. I'll just is. point out as well, right, when I got this T-shirt, it was black. I don't know what colour it is now, <laughs> but it's not black anymore, is it? Yo, right, that's not important. And the Santa. T-shirts are available. Yeah, exactly. That's not, that's not the main mix of this video. But, um, yes, yeah, remarkable scenes, isn't it? It's getting done. Can you believe it's getting done? Can you believe it's getting done? It's the day. It is the day. Things have happened quickly, I think it's fair it's to say. It's moved very, very quickly. I'm not one of these, right, that like ums and ahs over weeks or months or whatever. If I'm going to do something, I'm going to do something, yeah? It's so true. This, and at the end of the day, yeah, as this like chip situation starts to get better, I am hungry, not those sorts of chips, chips. you know? Microchips and all. As that gets better, more new cars are going to be coming over, yeah. you know, prices are going to fall, and I'm never going to get this money for this car you, again. You've basically had a free car. You've had a free money car. Over, I'm you've ticked money. it off the list. It's ticked off the list. I, I don't understand what what negatives and what hang-ups you might have because you're trying to get into JDM, yeah. you're trying to get into certain other cars, yeah. this is how you do it. Oh, but, no doubt. But talk us through, because man has got a bit of a, oh, I'm sad. Well, do you know what, right? It comes from the point of, yeah, a little bit sad. Do you know what, yeah, part of me is a little bit sad. This has been my daily driver for seven months, yeah? I've driven this car day in, day out, regardless of the weather, rain, whatever, and I've had a fun with it, I've had a blast with it. I tell you what, the bloody Harman Kardon sound system in here is phenomenal. It's so, so hard. It'll be very, very rare to find a car like this again with this sort of spec. What sort of extras has this got on it? Every fucking option, isn't it? So, um, yeah, it'll be rare to find a car with this sort of spec again, but it's all right, you know. It's been a good car to me. We've had some laughs of it, made some memories of it. We used to love taking egg drifting in it. So, you know, it's... Yeah, she used to love that as well, <laughs> didn't she? So, um, yeah, it's been, it's been part of Viking Views as well. Obviously, a lot of people know it as well and recognise us for it. And, well, for the first time in, I don't know how long, I'm going to be carless. For how long, though? And what am I going to do next? That's the thing. I'm sat here now. Because I've heard, right? Late, I, later today, it's, it's whatever time of the morning. It's, it's 11 o'clock really. now, right? In two hours, this car is going back to Dick Lovett, yeah. which is where we bought it. Well, where he bought it from. I yeah. was there, innit? But, um, and yeah. at that point, guess who's going to have the most powerful car out of us? <laughs> Me, for fucking runs, innit? First time since I met the boy and he had his A6. Yo, tell you what, you better watch something. <laughs> I don't walk around that showroom and fancy something else and come away with a car. Because that's happened in the past. Yo, I've gone out for a sandwich in the past and I've ordered a new car. I'm not even joking. I didn't even get the sandwich. He's also bought cars just to upset strangers. True story. Go I have, back I have done videos. that as well. But um, I heard, right, you know, say about car options now. Do I jump on a JDM bandwagon now? Because a lot of people are saying to me, you know, do this, do that. But a JDM thing for me, if I'm going to go, it's going to be like a Skyline or an R34 or something. That's not a daily driver. That's a toy, yeah? The Beetle is my toy. So I'm at the point as well. I might sell my Beetle. I know that sounds crazy, but I might sell that because I've only got room in a garage for one vehicle. I know I'm not building a bigger garage, as people are telling me, and I'm not renting 
parking space either. I like my cars close to home, innit? So, you know, that's, that's a little choice. But I've heard of a nice E63S. That's been sent to space, you know, rent source, all that sort of stuff, come in for sales. So, hmm, could I see myself in an E63S? I could. There's a lot of nice cars I want. A G-Wagon is another car I fancy as well, so... I don't know. We'll He's see. already got one G in this one. Nah. He do not even know that. <laughs> so anyway, that was nice, stick but along with us yeah. because in two hours we're going to be in Bristol and Dick love it. And this thing. I tell you what, right? Before we go, yeah? Before we go, let's just show them as well one of the reasons why I love this car, yeah? Don't worry, the car is warm. They'll be driven it here, haven't I? For the very last time, we are in the M4 on the M4. Judo. Boy, he's got anxiety. Yeah, I've got a bit of anxiety. This has just picked up since I started driving down here, innit? I, I got know. a milkshake. They're back in stock. <laughs> I don't know. It's just a bit like, oh, shit, am I doing the right thing, innit? But, you know, I'm committed. Once I've made a plan, I've made a plan and I'm on it, innit? You never know. Coming home, we might be in the M5 on the M5, innit? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Imagine that, innit? But we are now taking this car to Dick Love It, which is where he bought this car. We're going to hand it over. He's gonna get a briefcase full of money, <laughs> or yeah. however they do it. Pockets ain't empty, cuz. Nah. But that's the thing, seeing it in a shop around all different prices, and they were the most competitive, and you know they went up a little bit on their first offer as well. So never so, accept the first never offer of anything. The first offer, unless you're shopping with Jones Vintage World, so I will not send you a better one. You sure I'm doing the right thing selling this car from? Yeah. I don't know, like, I don't know. Sam. You're doing the right thing. I don't know, we might get a Bristol. I'm fucking turning back now. <laughs> Keep watching. <laughs> Crossing the bridge, how are you feeling? I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know if it's the right thing or not. We'll soon see it on my M4. That's what it's gonna be now, isn't it? Nice M4. It's gonna be one of them. I don't know. We'll but you've already see. done it. You've ticked the box. You've had an M4. Yo, end of the day, right? If I miss this car, let's go and buy another one. What do you say? As easy as that, right? I've done it in the past. Next one, buy one with handle. <laughs> I sold the S4, regretted it massively, so I bought a B9 S5. Similar thing, same platform, just two less doors. Yeah. So um, you know, end of the day, if I completely really don't miss it. I've ever gone to 70. And then you get people like Axe Pop on him, innit? Now that car wasn't there a minute ago, but it fucking is now. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking waste, man. 116 I break, pulled out in front of us doing 70. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you could see how low the fuel gauge was on this, you, you wouldn't have done that. That might be it, that's what That was my last blip in this car, innit? We've done a bit of suit you get in here as well. Nasty. Nasty. You know how we do. Ah, mush. No, no. It's not MTV, but this is Cribs, Causeway, Bristol. It's happening. <laughs> I don't know, man, and it's remarkable scenes. Yo, what I've got to remember here is a lot more cars better than this out there that I can now have a chance to go and do an experience. So that's what I've got to remember, innit? Let's, let's have a little last little blip in it. Pass the speed camera. I deny everything. It was a test drive, wasn't it? <laughs> It's like on them cameras. <laughs> He's setting up for a fucking drag race. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it is Molly. It's a thought it was fun. Yeah, this is where we got chucked out and ended up at one time, innit? At one time at Bank Camp. <laughs> <laughs> at one time at Cruise Night. Oh, you hell. don't know where you fucking go in, do you? But yeah, Molly's, that's where we ended up, innit? This does true though. Yo, I better do pancakes up in that thing, don't it? Scooby snacks. What's happening? Ooh, traffic officers. Ooh! Here we are, there's Aston Martin. And there's Dick Lovett and there's Jordan Boss Thomas. What's happening? What's happening?
Yo, that's been for sale since I, before I bought I this. I like that. Pretty honest. That was for sale before I bought this. Not even kidding you. Can believe it. Look, they got all their bikes out as well. So here we are. We've arrived at Dick Levitt. And I'll tell you what Dick is not loving it. Is this one over here? He's confused. He don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Um, I thought I was all out about on what I wanted to do and shit. Like, but I don't know to be honest with you. Yo, that car gets 100 miles per gallon now. True story. Get one of them. <laughs> but um, I don't know. Just gonna have a look at the new M3s. I tell you what, I've seen some green things in my time, but that's the greenest thing I've seen today. You look at that. <laughs> that's Grant. That's Grant's colour, isn't it? Man like Grant. That's colour of his yeah. car. This or that, that's green as hell, that is. Right now. Yeah, man. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. It's the right thing to do. It's 100% the right thing to do. I think it was just that bit of, like, not, not withdrawals, innit? But it was just that little bit of, ah, shit sort of thing as it was coming up, in it? But... You know, it's just because it's an air, the car, there's nothing wrong with it, it's a great car. It's just I'm ready for some other stuff. This is one of very few cars you've sold that's got nothing wrong with it. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, no, it does good, does good. And that's a line of lovely things you could be owning instead, look. <laughs> it's not my car anymore. Paperwork has been filled out, things are being photocopied, man's gonna come back for them keys. And I need a sticker as well next, we're gonna be good. I'm not stick on the table. That is a bit of a petrol head anyway, but yeah. literally, car's done, I've signed it off, I've got to post the log off on my side, I just got to wait for the funds to write back on my account, but it's done. How are you feeling this exact second? Don't feel real. No, I wouldn't. It it's not going to feel real until you're out of you and you don't get back into it. <laughs> I know, innit? But, um, I don't know, it's done, it is what it is. Um, I just want to jump in a whip and go buy something else. That's how I feel, but, yeah, remarkable scenes, innit? <laughs> <laughs> Done though. I know a man who doesn't own a BMW anymore. <laughs> How does that feel? You're gonna to have to walk past it now, innit? Oh yeah, that's the worst bit now, innit? But oh, I don't know, it's done, innit? End of the day, they say money don't buy you happiness. Around a bit of money back in the bank. It done it. It's pretty nice, it done it. I know it's not for that reason, but end of the day now, it frees up. I wanna come and do a bit of car shopping, innit? If anyone's interested, give Dick Lovett a ring. Yep. Tell you what though, the service at Dick Lovett, second to none always, from the old experience of test driving a car to buying it, to owning it, maintaining it, not that I've had any problems, right through to them giving the best offer out there, buying a car back, come here, it's taking 10 minutes, it's done like, you know, so Dick Lovett BMW, go and check them out if you're after anything like that. Honestly, big up, can't, you know, can't respect them enough, but. Do you know, that's lovely and all, right? But we're in Bristol now at Dick Lovett, right? Oh shit! How are we gonna get home?